know, I, um, I was talking to you about this last night. <clears throat> y'all need a videographer, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all need a videographer to 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 film y'all on the road, man. The, just uh, some PCB, what a PCB, yeah, PCB, mm-hmm. just behind the scenes shit, man. Yeah, we need y'all need some of that. You know what I mean? Just get that that buzz going for y'all. You know what I mean? I think especially I'm gonna, coming out of the pandemic. I think I want to take a a different angle. Actually, my boy, um, who's my road manager, is also one of my best friends I grew up with. He he threw an idea at me the other day, just talking about how you know I got all these people working with me that I've known my whole life, and I was like, that would be a cool little little doc, you know, some shit maybe called like something like Day Ones, you mm. know, just how I'm I'm trying to you know set all my people up, and you know I've just been working with them for years, so that's. But how would it how would it, how would it go? Would you film it? I mean, it's just like on the road shit, you know, and then you just kind of get. It's like any other any other like reality documentary shit. Oh, okay, okay. You know, you do maybe ten episodes, and and we all got things going on. Um, you know, Pam been going through some shit lately, and Jonathan, he, you know, he's currently dealing with something, and uh, we all got interesting stories. Jamal, who's my road manager, that motherfucker had a stroke a few years ago. He's a firefighter. Jamal, yeah. That nigga look in shape like he, a mama. He is. That's mm-hmm. the, that's why he's, that's why you can't see nothing wrong with him. He had a Damn. double double stroke on both sides of his brain. Really? Mm-hmm. Damn. But, but he's a firefighter outside of this shit. You know, he has a wife and kids. And me just trying to make it to that next level. And, and before I made it, still trying to bring people up and, and look out for my, my friends. So it's a it could be a really good storyline. So, Pam, what's your story? What, what he said you're going through some stuff. What's your story? What's your background? Lord. What's going on? You don't, you don't got to talk about that if you don't want to. What, what's which that, which that? <laughs> depends the on one, whatever that you want to talk about lord it's a lot uh i'll just go back something that you the, talk about on stage do, or do you do you talk uh, about it on stage yet that's actually a debate me and naeem be having about me being more personable about my family life and stuff yeah i'll be like naeem my, my life is a movie i'm still trying to find comfort <laughs> in having this shit like so um like i just uh in the last four months yesterday make four months I buried my mother and my father. Oh shit! And um, through like the whole thing, I still I didn't miss a show. I still like just been trying to you know keep my head up and stay positive and stuff through through all that. Uh, my son just decided to want to tell me that, that he out the closet, and then I knew he was in the closet. But he came out the closet, but he came out like a pink halter shirt. And I was like, like, damn, so you just, whoo, you full blown. Okay, so dealing with that shit, you know, so it's it's a lot of, you know, life shit. Trying to find myself, I was saying a name, like, am I going to go back to work? Or am I going to say, fuck this job and just do what I love to do? So, yeah. How old is your son? 23. You got a 23-year-old? If you knew how old he was, maybe you have a better relationship with him. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you be quiet? Yeah, 20s of the... Uh, what's today's date? That's because that's of his reaction. When people <laughs> ask me how old he is, then they be like, well, how old are you? Like, th- yeah, I'm edit like, that part out of the video. We'll talk about that shit. <laughs> Can't ask a woman how old she is. I'm uh, age. I'm <laughs> He was from my first marriage. That's where he came from. Like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Pam been looking the same forever. She don't age. Really? Mm-hmm. God dang. She's older than me, by the way. Wait, come on, Aim. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't so, do that. So back in the day, you was robbing the cradle for real. You was. You was <laughs> she only got him by year. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't robbing the cradle. Aim uh, was trying to. He was, Get some cougar young, love young cougar. at the age of five. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn. So mother and father yeah. buried them in the same month, you said? Uh, the same year. A month apart. Golly. Yeah. I buried my mother on December 31st. My father passed on January 31st. Damn. And you, is any of the family stuff you talk about on stage yet? Or you not yet? Cause you know that wound hey, is still. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing funny about that shit anyway. Yeah, that what can you? Yeah, what can you even like, say? Listen, you gotta find the funny in every in your whole life. I mean, yeah. I did find a little bit of funny funny one day because I remember walking in my grandmother's house and all my aunts and them was in there and I was like, 
I'm a fucking orphan. Like, you know, I went from having both parents to being little orphan Annie. And I started singing, like, the sun will come out. And they was, like, dying laughing. But that's like a that was a real live reality check. Like, yo, I'm an orphan. Like, so I called my brother, like, yo, you know we orphans, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because I know, I know, um, I was going through something with my, I got two, two twin girls. I was going through something with with their mother, and everybody was like, "Man, you need to talk about this." You need, and I was married before. I was married. Uh, I'm married now, but I was married before for ten months. Like it was grand opening, grand closing. I was like, "Yeah, I gotta get the fuck out." And people will be like, "Talk about this." I'm like, "This shit is too close to me." This shit, traumatic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this shit is too close to me to even bring that shit up on stage. Yeah. But people, when I tell them about it, because I took my, I took my, my, my twins mom i took him on a tv show to get a um paternity test a paternity test <laughs> to make sure <laughs> that they was <laughs> that make sure they was mine well, look, he ain't even going more he went on one of them shows that lasted for like two years because <laughs> i was hoping nobody gonna see it i was <laughs> i wanted to get the test without nobody else knowing wow my homeboy um and he was my one of my homeboys he was having he was getting a paternity test too and he was like they charged him $150 and he was only having one. And in my mind, I don't know why I thought this. In my mind, I was like, well, I'm having twins, so that's going to be $300 for me. <laughs> you well, only got to test one, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking $300. I was like, nah, somebody else oh, going to pay for this. So that's why I went on the show. <laughs> the fact that you like, yeah, me and my homeboy both had to get paternity <laughs> quest. I'm over here questioning, like, damn, this condom is like three dollars a box. And we was young here. and wild, man. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm glad you said that because about to, this nigga told me how she got pregnant. The nigga said that pussy was dry. <laughs> <laughs> he had the raw talk. <laughs> Look, I had a fucking show oh, right in Ontario. Mind you, Dante was not on the show. Right. <laughs> I'm just doing a show. At the end of the show, this girl comes up to me screaming at me. You need to tell Dante to take care of his fucking kids. I'm like, how do you even know? I know Dante. Because <laughs> he got kids. Uh, and then I hit him up. I'm like, yo, what's, what's going on? He's like, man, I don't think them is mine, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga get some bad pussy. He, don't, he definitely only want the kids to be his. <laughs> Like, I got some bad, I got twins off of some bad pussy. I ain't even enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Then you tried to make it work, though. You tried to be with it, didn't I you? I did. I tried. I, I tried to. I th Matter of fact, that's that's my bone I want to pick with you. Because you gave me some bad advice. You was like, man, the only way she going to chill out, man, you got to fuck her again. This nigga gave me some bad advice back then. And that's what made me. <laughs> That's what made me even try to work it out. That's the, only time, that's the reason why I tried to work it out. I don't even out. remember saying that, but Man, I, you I, did. Believe, I believe it. I you did. <laughs> I was like, why? And then after I she tried. She chilled for a minute, didn't she? she yeah, I, don't, I don't know if it made it worse or better, man. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I really don't.